you know, we're arguing that Apple should buy the Walt Disney Company. Um, the, the issue here is we, I think we have a broken film content creation engine where it's not, it, Disney, the company, it is not broken. But here at Warner Brothers, it's unclear they can actually make um, like DC comic movies. So Batman has been successful. They're going to launch another Superman. So we'll see. But the Warner Brothers Film Studio has been sort of on a cold spell for the last five years. And Apple can't help with that. Apple's a distribution platform. So Apple would really need to buy a successful and healthy film studio to make content, not a broken one. And so then what would be the biggest selling points in terms of the synergies that you already see between Apple and Disney? Uh, Apple and Disney. So the great thing is the brand consistency, right? World-class brands in both cases. You'd be adding 100% of omni-channel touch points because you can touch consumers in theme parks, which Apple can't do. And then you would also have 2 billion active devices in Apple. You could do some of the content of the Walt Disney Company exclusive to Apple for a certain window, three months or something, um, which would drive Apple iPhone penetrations. So there's a lot of synergies always between distribution, which is what Apple iPhones are, and um, in content, which is what Disney is. So yeah, we think that's an interesting, but WBD has does have a big library. I think it's still in the turnaround phase. We expect WBD to look at Paramount as an acquisition. You know, they reported their stock was down over 20% yesterday. And Warner Brothers is just managing the same business better than, than I think Paramount is. So that's the one I think Warner Brothers should buy.